COVID needs to get on out of here so I can pop out, okay? So I can really bully. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl Boulevard and I'm back with another video. You should know what it is right now. It is an unboxing. You know why? Because I have a shopping addiction. But you can benefit off of it because I'm gonna buy it. And I'm gonna let you know if it's worth your money or not. Like that last video, that Beyonce shirt, was enough. Today, as you can tell from the title, I am unboxing the hottest mini totes from 2020 into 2021. So if you do not have either of these totes, what are you doing? Well, let's go. This bag. Oh, I opened the wrong box first. Okay, we gotta wait on this one. This bag <laughs> is like a Jordan release. This is like a Jordan Christmas package thing that the guys get where there's a whole wait list and you got to get on the minute it drops or it's going to sell out and you're going to be real sad. It's a Telfar bag. Telfar shopping bag, size small color cream so it comes with this little packing list it's only got one bag so the list is shorts and you open it up and bam the dust bag it says this size zero and it's like a cute little zip lock bag the bag has uh, the plastic bag has a logo as well. Pulling the dust bag out. Nice crisp white dust bag. Nice thick strings. Durable. Nice thick white cotton. This is like literally the it bag of the summer, fall, winter next spring he has been blowing up look at my mini guys this is not even my first one this is my third so far bag but this is the hardest one to get yes okay it has the short straps the long straps Unravel the straps for y'all. Boom. Okay. You can wear it two different ways. Oh, and it matched my shirt today. Look at well he do it. I forgot I got a tan cream bag. This cream. Um yes. The quality is great. Like I said, this is not my first one. This is my third. And I love the first two. I had to just keep keep going. I bought my first one. When did I buy my first one? Probably about a year ago. Before he started blowing up. I might do a tail far. It's a tag. Cute tag. It holds more things than you think. Like it's nice and spacious. It does fit your phone. I have an iPhone XR. I would put it in here for y'all, but it's what I feel on. Um, but this bag, once the straps like lose the structure that it came in and loosen up, you can wear it. People like to tuck the straps, but I like for my straps to hang. Like, I love it. I was afraid I wouldn't like the color but it's not too beigey you know beige can get a little boring it is a nice cream like i want you to really see the color the texture the finish like 
this is like the perfect size mini bag so many bags you can't fit nothing in i'll show you guys how it hangs later in the video when i compare the two bags because the other bag i got is also cream or tan something like that like a light beige color so we're gonna do a side by side and if you can only get one we gonna figure out you won't figure out from the video which one you should get which one is more bang for the buck so this bag costs bloop, this much i don't remember so i'm gonna put it there and I think it's worth the money. And I just love that it's a black designer. I love that he is blowing up right now. The bags are good quality to me. Once it gets worn in a little and these indents fall out, I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. Cause I have the black mini and I wear it all the time. Sometimes I'd be like, girl, give it a break. But also I love the exclusivity of it. Because when I go out with it, everybody's looking like, oh shit. We nudge nudge it, nudge it and say, girl, that's that. I'm like, uh huh. Yes, it is. Okay. Skip along on my way. If you don't want your straps to hang all the way down, just a little. And carry it like. That is cute. I think that's cute. Y'all think that's cute? And then carry it like. If you don't want your straps hanging, wrap it around the little straps. And go. Some people tuck it, like I said. I just feel like it takes up space within the bag. It ain't a jumbo. It's a mini. So I want all my space. I need all my space in my bag. Not for the straps. Okay. Next. Next is a Bryant Blackwood mini tote. Blah, blah, blah. Not reading all that. My head always be starting to stick out of... I ain't got the little down yet, but you know what it is. You know what's going on. This tote was $50. So it's, it's nice and cheap. So with this, I know the quality is going to be good because I stock his page. And I see him posting other people's unboxings or their little video saying, finally my tote came in. Well, finally mine came in. And you know what? It took like a month and a half, almost two. I know it was a pre-order. I signed up for a pre-order. But, bro, I had to email him before I can even get my shipping. I emailed him like, hey, I got pre-order number one, da 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 this date, this is my order number. Can you update me on shipping? He didn't even reply. He just sent my shipping. You know what? I'm not mad. Just give me what I need. I don't need you to reply. I don't need to go back and forth. He sent my shipping. And then, that was maybe a week ago. But why not ask in the first place? You know what? I got it, so I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad anymore. Here's a cute dust bag. Yeah, sorry, I think the video cut out. Well, it did cut out. I don't know what this material is called, but it's a decent, it's a decent dust bag. It's better than no dust bag. Cause I know like my bags don't come with dust bags. Like how am I supposed to store it? Um. Here it is. It is a canvas tote. I like it. I knew I was gonna like it though, but I really like it. I love the color. I love the message. I do, I love the message. And I love the price. <laughs> Top three. The message, the price and i love a lot of things about it um i'm not sure if it is handmade but the quality is really nice you can see the stitching inside of the bag and some paper it's straps it's like a burlap canvas i like the fabric because I don't really have any bags of this fabric or this shade. Some loops for the straps. Um, let's take it out. It's definitely bigger than the last bag. A little pocket, a logo branding, and that's it. One little side pocket. I like how short the straps are. 
but it's kind of too short to fit in your elbow. So the options are probably just the finger grab and the strap. Like I said, it comes with a strap. So yeah, y'all want a side by side? I know you want a side by side. I know you ain't for a side by side. So the Brian, Brandon, sorry. So the Brandon Blackwood is obviously bigger, it's a little lighter. The tail part straps, the short straps are longer. You can fit a little more in here. But which one do you guys like more? They're not really the same color. They're kind of the same color. They have too many bags that are the same color. Oh my gosh, I'm crazy. But they're both black designers. They're low key the same bag. But I love black designers. I love supporting my people. It's going to be hard to choose between these two whenever I want to wear a tan bag. But you know what? A woman loves options on top of that. So, which one would you guys get? Um, I'm going to put more specs about the actual sizes. Ooh, I didn't peep that there's feet under here. That's so cute. That's really convenient. I really like that because it is such a light color. Um, when you put it down, you don't have to worry as much about getting it dirty. You kind of still have to worry because the feet aren't that... I don't know if you can tell. The feet are not that... Look, I look so crazy up under. Not that deep or tall. So I would still use caution. Um, I might actually, now that I think about it, try to find some type of spray to protect the material from stains. Because I don't know if it'll be easy or hard to get out. That makes me a little nervous. But I love, I love how crisp and clean this is. Like, yeah, I, I can see the quality in it. I love both bags. This one, I don't see it getting too dirty, even though I do have a scratch on one of my other ones. Um, I would worry less about putting it down on a table at a restaurant if it was wet or something because it is a faux leather. Um, so it's just easier to think. But thank you guys for watching. My two black owned cream mini totes okay i cannot wear wait to rock these even though there's not many places to go with this covid covid needs to get on out of here so i can pop out okay so i can really bully um and i'm gonna insert a clip showing how long the straps are compared to each other and where they sit on my body I'm 5'6", just to let you know that in advance. But yeah, I'm excited for this. Ooh, that might be right on there, oh, <laughs> um, But yeah, I also might in include a video of what I can stuff in here. Because they are small, but everything you need can really fit in them. They're big enough. They're not like the, mi they're not micro. They're a perfect size. And I fit a lot in here, and this is a little bigger, so we finna be outside. Thanks for watching.